Hi everyone, in this problem we have three logarithms and we have to write uh, the final answer as a single logarithm. The question is to write everything as a single log whose coefficient is 1. So the final answer has to have just one ln. So there's a couple rules we're going to be using uh, in this problem. Let's go over them very briefly. The first one says if you have the natural log of x plus the natural log of y, this is the natural log of x times y. This is called the product rule. So let's go ahead and use that first here on this piece here. So these two logs will become one log. This will become the natural log of, this is our x, so parentheses a plus b, times, okay, times the second piece, so a. And you might say, do you have to distribute? No, usually you don't. You just leave it. I mean, it looks fine just like that. We're trying to write this as a single log, and there's this one half here. So what you can do now is you can bring this upstairs. That's called the power rule. So this is minus the natural log of 4 to the 1 half. You might be wondering, you know, why did I do that? You know, why, why can't we do that? Well, we can do it because, you know, when there's a number in front of a log, you can make it the exponent. But why did we do it? It's because the next rule we're going to use tells us that if you have the natural log of x minus the natural log of y, this is equal to the natural log of x over y, right? This is called the quotient rule. So notice there's no numbers in front of the log. So when I saw that number, I thought, you know, let's go ahead and just do two steps in one and just put it upstairs. Because now we can use this property, right? If we still had the one half, we'd have to get rid of it. So now we can finish. This is the natural log of, so the top piece, so this piece here, a plus b times a over, and then this piece here, so 4 to the 1 half. And we could stop here, but keep in mind that 4 to the 1 half is really the square root of 4, which is 2. So this is actually the natural log of parentheses a plus b times a, and it's all being divided by the square root of 4, which is just 2. And so that would be the final answer. This is a single logarithm whose coefficient is 1, right? There's really an invisible 1 there. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck.